out here at Portland Nursery on Stark Street. I'm with Sarah. Sarah, vines. We have a lot of vines right now. <laughs> you like have a lot, an a lot of vines. Unbelievable amount of vines right now. So, and well, we wanted to show you some of them. Yes. So it, it's like, here we go. You know, you get people ask us like, you know, what do you do with vines? Right? Because yeah. it can be it can be kind of overwhelming as do when you're picking out a vine. What do you choose? Yeah, it can be overwhelming because if you choose a vine that's too aggressive, you can take off the deck of your house or, in, you know, ruin um, your siding. Um, but then also just what do you do with them? Where can you put them that is a safe place for them? And what are the different requirements that they need? So yeah. we brought a few examples. Yeah. So let's just start start down at the end. And you know, these are some of your favorites that you picked out. What's your first one you have there? Yeah, so this is Honeysuckle. It's a classic. Um, it's got that gorgeous fragrance that yes. everyone loves. Um, uh, so I think most people have heard of Honeysuckle, whether they realize it's a vine or not. Um, this one's really great because it can handle um, full sun and a little bit of part shade. I wouldn't say yeah. full shade, but it gives a little bit of options for people who don't have that full, full sun. Um, and it's got the hummingbirds love it. It's just a good all around vine. And, and a long bloomer. Mm -hmm. Oh uh, yeah. It'll, it'll start spraying and go, go throughout the summer. Yeah. It's yeah. And like just having that smell waft when you're maybe outside having dinner or something is, right. is really a nice reminder that it's summer. Right. So. And you also have, you know, speaking of fragrance, you have jasmine. Right. It looks like there's some different varieties of some jasmines. There are. So we've got the, probably people are most familiar with the star jasmine. Um, that one also can handle partial shade, not full shade. Um, it's not that it's going to die, but it's just not going to bloom and grow as quickly. Right. Um, this one, I would say it gets off to a little bit of a slow start, but once it gets going, it's like it grows and grows. Um, and then we've also got this summer jasmine, which has a kind of more dainty, lovely flower to it and a more dainty leaf in general. So it's got just kind of a different look. Yeah. And it seems like it grows, does grow a little bit quicker, but you know, two different, you know, bloom seasons. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, and you can have, um, there's a lot of different yeah, kinds of jasmine right. and lots of different options to pick from. You know, and this one is kind of a fun one. You know, this is, what's that guy here? Yeah. So that's a climbing hydrangea. Um, so this one can have handle even, um, you know, that part shade as well. Um, I don't think you'd want it in that bright full sun, but it's just gorgeous to, if you've ever seen a climbing hydrangea, I mean, they can be really, really spectacular. Uh, one thing to note is you don't want to plant it right on your house. See these little tendrils right oh, here. Yes. Those will actually grow into your siding, um, which is not probably the intention. So. Uh, just having it just off the house a little bit, if you can build a trellis that's just even a little bit um, away from the house, that can protect your house right. while giving you that really gorgeous look. I mean, I think with vines, it's an enchanting way to bring kind of this vertical space down right. into the garden, and it just gives something that not a lot of other things can. Right, because something like that on you know, a big blank wall where you need to fill it out and have it fanned out is you know, it brings, totally brings it to life and right. makes it just really nice. So. Um, so here we've got clematis. Yes. Uh, that one is definitely a classic as far as flowering vines. They come in infinite number of colors and we have a really amazing selection of them right now. Um, they are gonna need full sun. And the trick with them is they want that full afternoon sun, but they want their roots to be shaded. Right. So you're gonna wanna plant them, you know, maybe a little shrub or a bush in front of them so that their roots are shaded, but the vine part is actually getting so the sun up top but shade shade the roots down below yes and um they are one that's really safe to plant like if you have something near your house that you're wanting or like a front porch that you want to add a little something to um clematis are a really really great right. choice and lots of different you know you said bloom colors but bloom seasons yes as well starting early going all throughout the you know the spring and summer months depending yes. on what you're looking for. and there is a little bit more to get into it when you start choosing a different type of clematis uh which our staff could help you out with yes yeah and then a couple other fun ones you know this guy has some some great foliage what's this guy that one is a kibia so that one can handle you know probably out of all of these it would handle the most shade um and it's just got such a cool flower um and such a great like i don't know the the vine on it the leaves on it um have just kind of a nice rounded yes. look i don't know it's just a nice vine it's something yeah. a little bit different than some of the, yeah. the other ones definitely if you have a shady spot that would be what you would right. want to go with and you know and another you know different option yes so the passion flower is um the flower that is our logo um 
it is probably the coolest flower I've ever seen. Right. Um, and they grow well here. They're um, a unique, just a really, like if you want, if you have a place where people are walking by and you want them to stop and be like, oh, what's that? I mean, that's a perfect kind of right, vine right. for that, yeah. So, you know, and then this guy over here has, you know, some very different leaf yeah. looking to it. Yeah, and so originally you might think, oh, that could be powdery mildew or some kind of disease. It's not, it's healthy. <laughs> Um, that one is actually part of its look. It, it's called Arctic Beauty Kiwi, and it's an ornamental kiwi. So you're not going to get kiwis from it, although you can grow those. Yes, because you have another vine that would get yes, with the actual fruit. Yes, we do have fruit. that too, yes. Um, but this one is ornamental, and it's just kind of got that cool silvery look and a really beautiful, delicate white flower. Yeah, and then the last one over here, kind of the, you know, the, the <laughs> king of all of the vines. Yes, and that one there is the wisteria. I will say it is my favorite, like beauty wise. It is absolutely gorgeous, but don't plant it anywhere near your house. It will eat your house. This is the whole thing. Um, kind of little jack and a beanstalk. I'm, I'm joking kind of, um, but you know, we had one that was really close to um, our shed at our house. And every year we, my husband takes Max to it and it, it's gone and it comes back every year with a vengeance trying to just get after that shed because um, it just will take over. Right. So you want to be really careful. Right. You know, so note, not all vines are equal. So you know, when you are selecting out a vine, you want to come out and make sure you talk to your staff about you know, the area that you want to plant it in and making sure if it's going in a container or up by the house to make sure that you are picking out the right vine for the right spot. Yeah, I mean, if you plant that out in the middle of nowhere on a metal trellis, I mean, it's going to be breathtaking, yeah. <laughs> you know? So yes, definitely the right vine in the right spot. So if you're looking for a vine, something unique or something, you know, that's been around for a long time, just looking for an area for in a pot, in a container, on a wall, up your house, up your arbor, up an obelisk, whatever you need, make sure you come out to Portland Nursery, out here to the Stark store or the Division Street store. Talk to Sarah, talk to their staff, and pick that right vine for your area. So thanks for having us today, Sarah. Thank you. My pleasure.